going back a little bit, you know, you said that we avoid to have that conversation in a foreign language because it makes us uncomfortable. What do you think this is? What's stopping us from engaging in those conversations? That's a great question. I really like that. Um, so, so many things. I think a lot of it when we start to we start doing personal development work and maybe therapy, maybe coaching, we start to become aware of our patterns. Um, somebody might become aware of the fact that they have perfectionist tendencies. Um, so if they can't get it right, they don't want to try because they don't want to fail. So they only want to do something when they feel completely prepared for it. Um, so we can tend to over prepare or sh shy away from opportunities, which are opportunities to learn, but you know, they could also be, um, it could involve failure. So sometimes it could be perfectionist tendencies. Um, I think a lot of it for me has been, you know, looking at my patterns from, you know, childhood behavior and how I grew up at school and things. Um, fear of being excluded. Uh, a lot of the time it, it does come down to these these core needs that we have as humans. We want to be heard. We want to be included. We don't want to be different. Um, but when we do speak a foreign language, we are already different. And so it, it can be really hard to to find out your authentic voice in that because you're already an outsider. You don't want to make yourself feel more excluded. That's something that's been difficult for me is fear of rejection or exclusion or, or being different. Um, yeah. So again, coming back to the self-discovery it is an opportunity for self-reflection to to understand your patterns here, you know, am I afraid of failure? Am I afraid of rejection? Um, you know, am I embarrassed that people will laugh at me? Have people laughed at me in the past? It might make us think of a time at school where we got something wrong and felt shame. So a lot of the time it, it can be connected to that in, in my experience and in that of my students. A lot of people come to me saying they, they know English, they can write it, they can read it, but they just can't speak. And a lot of the time they had a negative experience at school with a teacher that didn't motivate them or or didn't teach them how they needed to be uh, taught or um, they just yeah they didn't, didn't have a good experience to relate it to so again we're we have expectations that it will be bad again um, you know our brain has an, a negative bias as a survival mechanism we are primed to look for danger before opportunity um, and very often like we can bring that to a new challenge, like picking up a new sport, a hobby or a language. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think these fears are definitely coming from, you know, those childhood experiences, the fear of rejection or mm -hmm. like you said, the experiences with teachers. You know, if you make a mistake, the teacher snaps at you. So that fear is permanent in your mind. So. Let's not make mistakes, you know, and if I want to avoid making mistakes, I would rather not speak at all. So, you know, I'm safe. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, you know, that is the most core human need ever is to feel safe, um, yeah. to feel heard and, and to feel safe. So it's kind of like this balance because we have these two core needs to feel safe, to feel a sense of belonging and security, but also to feel heard and seen and acknowledge for who we are. And this need to feel safe sometimes can take us, can encourage us to, to stop going for those opportunities because we're afraid. But at the same time, I believe that learning a new language and that will open a door to hundreds of new connections you can make that it could help you feel more seen or more heard or more understood. In my experience, traveling and speaking different languages and meeting all these different people has been, you know, it's been many of the threads in the, in the tapestry who made up uh, who I am. It's been a wonderful way to get to know myself gradually through many different um, perspectives that have been shared with me. So I think if we're ready, if we're ready for the challenge, there's so much opportunity there. Um, and I think this just noticing where we are and how we feel and checking in with the body when you feel scared and just acknowledging that and noticing that you are safe, but you're ready for a new challenge that that can be really important to just take a moment to, to pause and, and get grounded. Yeah, 
Right. You have to ask yourself, like, what's the worst thing that can happen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Or um, um, I think it's um, it's efficient to make this uh, shift in your mindset prior to learning uh, a language. You know, I'm comfortable being uncomfortable, having those conversations. Yeah. And, right. Yeah. I just have to overcome this uncomfortable fear or feeling of fear. Yeah, that, that's it, Sri. You, you hit the nail on the head. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. 